Hi, my name is ProTips for Dan. Here's my tips for the weekend. My tip for Saturday comes from Bundesliga, from the game between Hoffenheim and a Rassenball Sport Leipzig. Hoffenheim are in poor form at the moment. They've won once in their last seven Bundesliga games. Uh, that was against FC Cologne, who are in dire form themselves. And at home, they've only won once in the last five, although they have drawn three. Their last game, uh, Martin went to see, they got smashed 3-0 by Hamburg, and if you listen to our podcast, you'd hear Martin say that he didn't think Nagelsmann had much of a clue that Hoffenheim didn't look like they knew what they were doing. Leipzig, on the other hand, they've won six of their last eight games. Although their away form was a bit patchy, they've only won two out of the last five. They've only lost one, and I have to go with Leipzig to win this because the second in the table against an out-form Hoffenheim, it looks like the value bet. Leipzig to win at 2.15. Hello, I'm Protips to Paddy. My tip for Saturday comes from the match in London between Arsenal and Manchester United. Now, Arsenal, as most of you will know, are just in fantastic form at home. From their previous 10 home games, they've won all 10, so no losses, no draws. They've been absolutely brilliant at home, and they've kind of quietly uh, started going up the table. A, a little bit unnoticed by most people, closing down the gap between themselves and and Man United, Chelsea and Man City. And you know, it's kind of gone unnoticed by a lot of people because of the off-field stuff that's been happening at Arsenal. You know, uh, Alexis Sanchez and Mesut Ozil and their, I suppose, non-existent contract talks and the cloud that's hanging over uh, Arsenal at the minute about those. So people are kind of distracted by what's going on off-field and they haven't really been taking notice of just how well Arsenal have been doing, especially at home. At Man United, meanwhile, especially away from home, they haven't been all that good. They've lost, uh, they've lost twice so far this season. Let me check to uh, Huddersfield and Chelsea. And at the tail end of last season, they lost to Spurs and Arsenal as well. So away from home, their form is three wins, three draws, and four losses from the previous ten away matches. A lot has been said this season about Jose Mourinho's uh, record against the other top six teams. He's only won twice out of eleven meetings. Uh, between Man United and other top six teams, and he has a reputation for parking the bus, as we all know. Now, what I thought was pretty funny was Arsene Wenger got an early dig in against uh, Jose Mourinho during the week, when, when, during the early press conference. He said that he didn't expect Jose Mourinho's Manchester United to park the bus at the Emirates, knowing full well that when Mourinho does park the bus with his team, uh, Wenger's going to get the moral victory whatever the result, but, you know, as we all know, more victories, they don't win you three points, and they sure as hell don't win you silverware. Since losing twice away from home this season, Arsenal have been on a great run, and like I said earlier, it's the contract talks that are not happening off-field that have been distracting everyone, but, like, the reason I like this bet is because Arsenal showed just how good they can be against Spurs in the recent North, North London derby. They were absolutely brilliant against Spurs, and, you know, Spurs didn't really get out of the traps at all. And it wasn't that Spurs didn't show up. It's that Arsenal didn't allow them to show up. They played really, really well. And, and we're seeing something in Arsenal that we haven't seen in a long, long time. It's this grit and, and determination to, to see out matches and win them. And, yeah, okay, the money got lucky with the penalty away to Burnley in their last away match. But, you know, they still showed the grit and determination to, to keep going, which, you know, Arsenal the previous seasons would have wilted and, and, and given up after you know, 60, 70 minutes. So there's definitely something in the team. Uh, I think they believe that they can definitely go for something this year. And it's great to see that they have the bit between their teeth again. Yeah, like I said earlier as well, Man United's away form has been, well, it's not been great at all this season. Uh, they, okay, Old Trafford is a fortress. Of course it is. We all know that. You know, they lost to Huddersfield. They lost to Chelsea. Okay, we'll, we'll give them that one. Chelsea are a good team. But they barely got past a, a pretty lackluster Southampton 1-0. Okay, they beat Swansea as well earlier in the season in August away from home. They beat them well 4 0, but Swansea, Swansea are going to get great shakes at the, at the moment. My pick for this match then is for Arsenal to win at 2.42. The reason being is that Arsenal showed such a great resolve against Tottenham, against a good team, and against Burnley last, uh, in their last uh, outing away from home, and that they have a kind of steely determination that they haven't had in a while. And I think they have enough talent there to break down uh, this Man United defence. Hopefully David De Gea won't have the game of his life and keep a clean sheep. But I can see Arsenal scraping a 1-0 or, or 2-1 here. So, yeah, my tip then is for the Gunners to win, 2.42. Hi, I'm Pratis Martin. 
First tip is on Saturday. It's the game in the championship at the Stadium of Light. It's the game between Sunderland and Reading. Now, this one is Chris Common's first home game in charge. And he needs to sort things out very quickly because their home record is atrocious. Sunderland haven't actually won a game at home this year in any competition. In fact, their last home win was mid-December back in the Premier League. Um, so I actually think Reading a great value here. And James Vaughan is suspended after picking up a fifth booking of the season against Burton in midweek, which Sunderland did win. Um, so that would be a big loss for them. Sunderland will go into the game. Uh, with, with slight confidence, renewed confidence after winning at Burton in midweek. However, you know, you're facing a red inside who are starting to pick up um, after a poor start to the season. And I just think at 3.30, the red to win this one against a side who haven't won at home for so, so long is tremendous value. And Reading have picked up some decent away wins recently. They, they got a home win in midweek, uh, full of confidence going into it. It's got a home win at midweek against Barnsley. They won 3-0 there. But they've had recent away wins at Derby and, and at Leeds. So, you know, they're very capable of going on the road and picking up three points. So my tip for this one is ready to win away at the Stadium of Light at 3.30. My tip for Sunday comes from La Liga, from the game between Getafe and Valencia. Now, Getafe aren't doing too badly. Uh, they've won twice and drawn twice in the last five league games. And at home they're not too bad either. But they face a Valencia side who are just on fire at the moment. Uh, Valencia haven't lost in La Liga this season. Before the draw against Barcelona they'd won something like 12 games in a row. And okay, so Barcelona had the win stolen from them by a ref who couldn't tell when the ball had crossed the line or not. But Valencia scored 13 goals in their last four away games winning them all. Um it just, again, it screams value, and I'm going for Valencia to win at 2.32. Now on Sunday, I've gone for a game in Ligue 1. It's the game between Khan and Lyon, and I've gone for the Lyon win at 1.80. And the reason I've gone for that is, I just think Lyon, although they did lose last time out uh, at home to Lille, so quite surprisingly, Away from home, they're actually really, really good. Um, they've won three on a spin. They've actually won three and drawn one of the last four. Scored 18 goals in the process. The last three wins on a spin away from home have all been by five goals to nil. And Carl just haven't really been tested at the moment. They've only scored 10 goals all season. So, you know, you look at their league position, they're sixth. They're doing really, really well. And it doesn't really tell the whole story that they've scraped 1-0 wins against teams in the sort of towards the bottom half of the table so they haven't really been tested yet and when they have they've come up against the likes of Marseille they, they got thumped 5-0 by those um, they've also played Monaco they lost 2-0 there and they played the other team above and not they've actually played them as well and they lost that so it seems when Khan come up against a team uh, who are half decent, they, they don't seem to do very well. So I think Leon are a pretty good value here at 1.80 to get the away win. My second pick then is from uh, the Sunday round of matches. It's from uh, Bournemouth versus Southampton. Now, okay, it's not as glamorous as Man United uh, taking on Arsenal in the Emirates, but I found something that I think is of value here as well. Bournemouth have had a fairly shaky start to the season. They've been fairly impressive since they came up. Eddie Howe has been playing really, really nice football. And they've kind of gone under, under the radar, uh, last season and this season as well because they're not as, um, well, they're not, they're not really, they took a couple of scalps in their first season. It hasn't been happening as much, but they are playing some nice, expansive football. They beat Huddersfield 4-0. They're absolutely brilliant to watch. They were just brilliant. Okay. They were, they lost to, to uh, Burnley, uh, 2-1 the other day but you know, they were unlucky and they were coming up against one of the best defences in England that that feels weird saying that about Burnley but you know they really are and so and they will feel unlucky as well I saw the, watched the highlights of the match and um, yeah they, they will felt that they certainly could have got a draw out of it and, and possibly a win even Southampton Southampton are a weird team you know they're kind of on autopilot they've nothing really to win they've nothing to play for Will they, will they be bothered going far in the cup? They're not in Europe. They've no chances of going down. 
they have brilliant players, but they, the brilliant players, they kind of take it in turns to take it on of who's going to be good that day. Um, they're a strange team, they're pretty hard to figure out, and okay, they, they gave a lot against Man City the other night, and they were, they were unlucky, but then again, you know, City, they just kept at it, and they knew that eventually their break was going to come and they were going to get it. Um, you know, keeping your concentration and defending like that for 90 minutes, it's, it's pretty hard to do. And, and now, and, and now playing again away from home against the counter-attacking Bournemouth were very, very quick. You know, will they, will they have the concentration to last another 90 minutes of, of taking on a team who are very, very quick on the break? I, I, I don't think so. And, and as well, when you look at Southampton's away record of the previous five games, they've only won once. And, uh, they've, they've lost three times out of those and drawn one as well. So, you know, so they're really not good away from home. Bournemouth are the underdog here. They're priced at 2.91. So I'm going to take them on the Asian handicap because if this ends in a draw, then uh, I'll get my stake back. So the price then is for Bournemouth. Uh, Asian handicap 0 at 2.06. I think Eddie Howe's men have enough to uh, to take on this uh, Southampton team who will just be still wrecked from taking on Man City. I think they might be a little bit emotionally damaged as well because when you play... Like that against the team, and and you do so well until the ninety something minute, and then and then you know you blow it. Well, maybe not blow it. Maybe City got lucky, but I don't think so. Um, it's very hard to come back from that, and to come back very quickly and play again on the road. I think Bournemouth have have enough here to uh, yeah to 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 beat Southampton, and and if it ends in a draw, sure, there's the insurance there that we'll get our money back as well. That's it then from us here at Pro Tips. We hope you enjoyed this video, and you like our tips. Make sure and hit the red button beneath this video and subscribe and you'll get daily tips videos, previews, podcasts, strategy videos and just loads of stuff that will help you improve your betting. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter as well. The links are all below the video. You can uh, come and follow us or like us there as well. And finally, make sure and check out protips.com where you can win real money by sharing your winning football tips. Alright, I'm Pro Tips to Patty. Thanks for watching. Good luck.